Hi, I just wanted to make a quick video that's in response to all of the discourse going on in America right now following the Trump-Harris debate. And the most memorable line, or the, most, the most talked about line in that whole debate was, they're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats and dogs in Springfield, Ohio. And this has caused a real uproar, you know? I've never been to Springfield, but the fact checking has come in and it's all been untrue. But that's besides the point. This was a talking point. This was a pre-planned talking point, or perhaps it was just a spur of the moment, off the cuff talking point by Donald Trump. And it's designed to, uh, you know, to get a rise out of people. It's designed to make people outraged, right? Now, this is a tried and true tactic. It's a very common tactic from his playbook that we're all familiar with by now. Let's not kid ourselves. And I guess it worked, right? Because there are bomb threats being called in and there's people on the other side saying, no, 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 it didn't happen. It's not true, right? The point that I would like to make is who cares, right? Why would you care if they were eating the cats and dogs if you eat pigs, cows, chickens, turkeys, fish, tuna, salmon, uh, venison, I don't know. Why would you care? Why such outrage over just another animal to you? Why to you? Why would you care? if there's just one additional species to the list of species that you routinely fuck over as part of your daily routine, whether it be eggs in the morning, a turkey salad sandwich in lunch, and a steak for dinner or whatever, what's so special about dogs, right? What's so different about dogs? So I think what was insinuated by this was that they're not just stray dogs, they are pet dogs people's pets, right? So are you telling me that the reason that this is so incendiary and outrageous is because these animals are property? That like the reason people are outraged is because there's this accusation of Haitians that are destroying other people's property, stealing other people's property. It just doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? That doesn't ring true. No, it's far more heinous to kill the dogs and cats. See, there's a double standard in society. People don't give a shit about the pigs, even though pigs are so, so similar to dogs. Why is that? If Trump had gotten on the mic and in a rage, in a fury, he had said, they're eating the pigs in Springfield, Ohio. They're eating the cows. They're eating the chickens. People would blink and they'd say, uh, yeah, and you see, the thing is, it is just as outrageous what we do to pigs and cows and chickens as to what was accused of Haitians for eating cats and dogs because they're all living, sensitive creatures, individuals, right? Am I wrong about that? What is it that separates a pig from a dog? What is it that separates a cow from a dog? Not much, not much. If you spend time with cows, you get to know them. They're like grass dogs. They're like these big grass dogs. You know what they love? They love yoga balls. They love yoga balls. They'll like kick it around like a football, you know? They'll bounce around on it. They love the stimulation in the form of play. They love to play cows. They're wonderful creatures. But America doesn't give a shit about cows, at least not mainstream politics. And they have to not give a shit about cows and pigs and chickens because they eat them. You see, that's the way round it is. They are forced to not give a shit about the animals they eat. Do you understand now? I live under a flight path. If Americans woke up one day and did give a shit about cows and pigs and chickens and, and the other animals that they routinely enslave, confine and prematurely kill. If they did just wake up one day and care about those animals, they would be forced to confront themselves. They'd be forced to confront their daily routines and their daily habits and their complicity in an ongoing moral atrocity.
So I'm just here in this video to point out the massive hypocrisy, the blatant double standard that is right there in plain sight when you yourself eat animals of very similar intelligence, very similar traits, and you send them into slaughter, you buy their body parts off the supermarket shelves, you financially reward these factories for processing these animals. And I wonder how many triggered comments I'm gonna get below this video talking about uh, how, oh no, no, we have to do that. We have to do that for our health. We have to eat animals to be healthy. Okay, I understand that. I understand that you have resorted to bullshit to live a lie, how you've fallen back on a lie, and you've really bought into that lie because it safeguards you against the moral injury <laughs> that I'm currently threatening you with. Look, you don't have to make your mind up right now, but I just want you to think about it. If you haven't seen my face before, if you're new to this channel, just think about what I've said and think critically. Name the trait that makes it okay to do to pigs what we would shudder to think of doing to cats and dogs. And don't say ownership. Okay, this is more than just property theft we are talking about here. If you view living, conscious, sensitive individuals as property, I don't know what to tell you. You're basically applying slave owner ideology to the animals. And anyway, uh, yeah, quick video there. See you later. Oh, my God.